significant cut though that the university is looking at. All the universities are looking at this significant cut. Yes, it is. So what will that mean, even at a level of 23%? At a level of 23%, uh, what they're suggesting is that we use our one-time money and the, the kind of uh, comments that from the Senate is that this is only one time that they would restore that the next year. The worry is 
happens if they don't restore it the next year, then we'd see some very drastic cuts across all of the universities. So if that promise holds, do you think you could weather it for one year? For one year we might be able to weather it, but, but it would be tight, and it would be that we would uh, have to be very, very careful about that there won't be as many classes taught, but it, at least we could weather it for one year, but not longer than that. So do you look at it as because a... Because we'd be using up all of our reserves. Is, 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 would that violate any kind of fiduciary trust, that, that, or is this completely discretionary that you could use it? Well, what happens is, you know when you have cash, that that affects your movies bond rate, for example, and that would have a negative effect. We wouldn't have any emergency uh, uh, fallback, for example, with uh, if a hurricane or any kind of wind damages or things like that. We would have no extra money to fix leaky roofs and, and, and etc. So it really brings us down very, very low. We work very hard to be prudent and, and to build up this reserve for the kind of emergencies that. Uh, this would take it down. Gambling with the retirement money. Yes, it, it takes it down. Are you hopeful that they will put their promises here? So, well, I'm hopeful that through conference it will be as drastic as this, number one, and I'm hoping that through um, uh, that it, indeed that it would be restored in the following year. Do you look at this as a glass half full or half empty? <laughs> It is reality, I guess, is more, more of it. I mean, again, I'm very pleased that we've made such progress in the past week that week and a half that we've been able to be on par with other universities. Um, the other universities, as we are, are still worried about the overall Senate budget. What about with the politics? Um, I guess the idea that they're going to maybe move more forward and take that Well, we would be taking care of the USF students, no matter where they are. And we would be taking care of as many faculty that are USF faculty, no matter where they are. So, but they come with resources. And that was what the $10 million is to provide. And the memorandum of understanding and the proviso would allow us to take care of students, faculty, and staff that are at the University of South Florida. That's what I care about. The governor seems to indicate that they did not support the A You'd rather just do that Well, that is not my choice because we have been told in November that there are certain benchmarks that need to be met in order for the Polytechnic to become an independent university that was supported governors. That's what we've been working on very diligently. Uh, if the legislature and whatever the process is, that it needs to be an immediate transfer. As long as we take care of our students, faculty, and staff that are a part of the University of South Florida, that's what we must do. That's the number one concern and priority that I have. But if they make that immediate change, how does that affect the whole system, the uh, USF system, in any way? Well, again, we would be, uh, we would still have the whole system here for the teach out. And uh, it's, it, it would be, it's, it's just reality. It's just what it is. Separating out the current economic climate, do you think this, for lack of a better word, slight that USF is up with? Is a one-time thing. Do you think that USF's parity is strong? Well, I I truly believe that the way in which our Tampa Bay community responded was so incredibly positive for the University of South Florida. It made such a difference to the legislators that everyone can see that we are not don't. Don't just take us lightly. We care 
about our institution, we care about our region, our students, and our economic recovery. I believe that we will be treated fairly in the future. I really do. We have one more question here. When it comes down to it, I mean, given what the original alternative could have been, do you have to find a way to celebrate even a level of nearly a 25% cut? I mean, do you have to look at that positively? Well, we are looking very positively that we are treated fairly and equitably to the other universities. We are still looking forward to a more, uh, to an additional positive outcome from the conference with the House and the Senate.